This clip is brought to you by VegasWinners.com. Get expert sports betting advice from some of the best handicappers in the world. Head on over to VegasWinners.com and win yourself some money. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson, and you're listening to Grillin' JR with the voice of wrestling, Mr. Jim Ross. Jim, how are you? Good, Conrad. Good to see you. Good to see out here and see all the fans. So, uh, interesting show this morning or today, whatever time you're watching it, listen to it. But I'm pretty good. You know, I've got this little cancer issue I'm trying to deal with. And I'm going to start doing radiation soon. I think I'd do 22 radiation treatments. Damn, that but, sucks, dude. 22. Yeah. Yeah. And, and somehow I got to figure it out how to do it on consecutive days. They'd like to do it every day for, you know, I think it's three weeks or something or whatever it is, maybe longer than that. I haven't kept, I haven't kept track. It, it, it's the inevitable. It's coming. I got to deal with it. So I haven't found myself buried in the minutia of when this is happening and that's happening. I don't plan on missing any work according to my doctors. So that's good. That's great. Yeah. It's just a matter of, you know, dealing with the issues and gritting your teeth and moving on. That's kind of what I'm doing, but uh, you know, I, I really appreciate all the fans who have reached out on social media and so forth, giving me their encouragement and prayers and so forth. You know, I don't have, I have a, the lesser, I didn't get, I can't remember the name of the damn thing, the worst kind of skin cancer, whatever that is, I don't have. So it's one of those deals, part of the journey, you know, and I got to deal with it and I will deal with it. No doubt about it. Just a pain in the ass to get all these treatments. The, the good th- things, no chemotherapy. So that was all the after effects and things of that nature. So I'm just, you know, just handling it, you know, I'm dealing with, dealt with more and we'll continue to persevere. You know, as we're recording this, Connie, today is Jan's 60th birthday. Oh, wow. Man, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. She's been 60 today. She would not want me to say that public, but I guess right now it's okay. So, you know, it's just life. Life continues to go on I and mean, we have to deal with the situations and the hands that we're dealt and move forward. I know, I don't know any other way to approach it. And so it's going to be fun and to get healthy. I feel healthy now, but, oh, it's just another, it's another, uh, turn in the road, buddy. You know how that shit goes. So I'm going to deal with it like a man, you know, it's, it's all, it's all good. If I hadn't, I, I said this to somebody the other day, if Jan had been alive, uh, this would never have happened because she saw, she would have seen that little spot on my ankle. It didn't get to be, it got to be a beer spot, but she should have seen that and would have gone to the doctor taking care of it. But here I'm trying to be John Wayne and he's looking over my, uh, left shoulder right now and be that guy instead of just being smart. So that's my, that's on me, but it should have been around. It just would have been taken care of, but she's not. And, and it's, so I, I'm taking care of it. It's just a matter of starting and moving forward. So. But I do appreciate everybody's support. It's, it means a lot, quite frankly, that people give it care enough to send me a message, whether it be on Twitter or Facebook or wherever it may be. So I appreciate that. And again, I'm feeling good. So, you know, Henri, feeling good. My centers are doing well. The centers won a game. They're off this weekend. Much like your Crimson Tide was off last weekend. So, you know, I'm still I'm enjoying my best life. It's just a matter of there's just some things coming along that I hadn't planned on dealing with. But the great thing about Jacksonville, my kids are wondering why I don't get my treatment here in Oklahoma because I'm four, four miles away from the Mayo clinic in oh, wow. Jacksonville. So if I get into a jam, I got the best doctors, uh, for me within 10 minute drive of the house. So that, that's important. It's funny how the older you get, how your priorities change, Conrad. I agree. You know, good doctors, you know, we all like our doctors. So anyway, that's where that is. And the other, other thing I want to clarify a little bit, I was kind of overwhelmed. You and I are kicking the, kicking the tires on this one uh, before we start recording on the, uh, black hat farms, uh, cannabis venture. You know what? Here's a story on that deal. My daughter and her husband are going to, are creating the business. They created the business plan. <clears throat> they created everything in that regard. I bought some land to build some grow houses on. And I funded them the seed money to get this thing started. That's going to be hopefully my involvement. I may help with some marketing stuff or some names or things like that, you know, but bottom line is 
I wanted to do something for my kids while I was still alive. And I thought it was important to help them get this project started. And so they don't have a debt service to a, to a bank or something. And it's made me feel good that I've been able to help them and see the results. So, you know, we hope to be up and doing something in 2022. I'm not sure when the, they're going to harvest and all that stuff. I'm not involved in that. I don't, I haven't even seen the land I bought. Wow. Uh, it's near Tulsa. So, uh, but I, my daughter's really a good marketer, good planner. She's very successful in her work. My son-in-law was a school teacher at Tulsa Rogers high school. He's a smart kid and they studied this. So I did it for them, not for Jr. But I think we're going to use the black hat thing. That's, that was our idea. So anyway, that's where we are with that deal. I'm not going to be out there every day, you know, working in the farm, but they are, and that's good enough for me. So there's kind of a little, two couple of updates there on that matter. So, but other than that, it's all good. You know, AEW business is good. You know, we're tickets, we're selling tickets for our TV tapings like crazy. And that sure makes it for a better television show. When you got people there that care and are emotionally invested, makes it so much better. And it's uh, amazing when you look back, Conrad, all of all those weeks after weeks that we had uh, nobody in the house, but our own people. And now we've got fans that want to be there. They feel good about being there. So that's all great. They're starting to bring their posters and signs back. You know, the, the, the emotion of, is all great. So it's good stuff, man. So, uh, but we just keep moving along. Podcast here is doing well. We appreciate everybody's uh, support of that. Conrad's empire is when I look at the top 10 or 20 or whatever, uh, rankings of pro wrestling podcasts, you know, Conrad's crew is we, uh, we dominate. We normally always have the number one show and one of us that's going to feel good to you, right? Hey, it doesn't suck. You know, it's, uh, it's been fun. We greatly appreciate everybody's support. Hope you'll check out all that we're doing over at adfreeshows.com. But I want to circle back to something that you've really been a champion of. I mean, you've sort of been a champion of men's health for a long time where you would tell guys, Hey, if you're waking up in the middle of the night, peeing, or if you're snoring, et cetera, et cetera, you probably need to look into getting a CPAP machine. Yes. And you've probably helped a lot of people, uh, lengthen their lives with that advice. Is there a teachable moment? Is there some wise wisdom you can pass down about your skin cancer discovery? Here's the thing is skin cancer is the most widely spread, no pun intended cancer in, in, in existence. In other words, more people have skin cancer than any other form of cancer. So it's not a secret. It's not, you know, something that we don't talk about it's there, but because it's perceived as less serious than having it in your, in an organ internally, then, you know, maybe we don't pay as much attention. I had a spot on my ankle and it just kept getting bigger and bigger. And I didn't know what it was. And to be quite honest with you folks, I was afraid of what the diagnosis might be. It was exactly what I didn't want to hear. And I was afraid at 69 to go start battling cancer, but you know, it's, that's the fight I'm in, but the it's smart and I'll do this going forward. And I guarantee a lot of people won't do it because the pain is the pain in the butt to make your doctor's appointment and go to see the doctor, et cetera, et cetera. But having a once a year review of your skin at, in a dermatologist's office is imperative. I had this one spot on my leg, which was, uh, significant. I, I posted a picture of it on Twitter and I got, uh, it was, it was hor in hindsight. I wish I hadn't done it, but it was horrible looking and I ignored it for some stupid reason, but you should get a skin cancer skin evaluation every year. It's a matter than just looking at you. And, uh, I, when I went to the doctor Conrad, I had that one spot on my leg that I thought was the, it and the doctor said, take your shirt off. And I did, and he found two more spots on my back. Well, hell, I would have had no idea that, that, that something was on my back. Right. Because, you know, I, I can't see back there. So anyway, that those are going to be cut out. And then the one, the big one issue is going to be uh, radiation. I just, it's just, it's just hard to be doing uh, live TV and keeping the schedule. I can deal with the pain. I can deal with all the, you know, the, the things that you see the word I'm looking for just inconvenient shit. 
I could deal with that, but I, I don't want to miss work. We're coming into a very important time of, for our AEW. We're big pay-per-views coming up in Minneapolis soon. And, and then the TV battle down, we're back on Wednesday nights. So we're not preempted anymore by baseball or NBA or what have you. So we're back on Wednesday. So we got a chance to regather our audience. And, 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 in, and even saying that, you know, it's not like the, the bottom fell out of our ratings. We're still doing very good ratings, but I don't live and die by the ratings. Like a lot of people do. I live and die by us having good shows. If we have good yep. shows. I figure everything's going to take care of itself. I agree. So, you know, and I'm at this stage of my life, I promise you it's not, there's more important things to worry about than the 18 to 49 demo, even though I get how important it is. I get that's how rights fees are set and things of that nature. But from I can't, here's the deal. You're if you can find yourself in your life or you can cut loose from things you can't control, you're better off for it. Totally agree. Better off for it. Don't spend a lot of your time and a lot of your brain cells and all that and get your computer running up there when, when it's not necessary. So that's kind of where I'm here on this deal. So it's uh but the CPAP is imperative. It's the easiest. That's the deal where you go get a sleep test and you say, all you do is sleep. You're not giving blood. You're not doing anything stupid. And I guarantee you, some of you guys you ask your wives, your significant others, whatever the case may be, if you stop breathing during the night and, and most of them are going to tell you, yes, because they hear it, they hear you gasping for air. And that's the way to the, that's the way to the, the, the funeral home. I, 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 so anyway, I'm a big, I, a lot of the guys in WWE back when I was there. When I started, when I got diagnosed and, and I, I shared that information, with a lot of guys, I'm not going to say who they are to, not to bre breach their privacy, but there's a lot of big stars that have been and are a WWE that has sleep uh, disorders. It's a common thing now. And, and it's, it's one of those deals that will kill you eventually. You know, I told the story about Reggie white, the great football player that played for the Packers and the Eagles, and one of the greatest defensive linemen of all time. I went to Knoxville one time to do a feature with him. I think it was around WrestleMania 10. And, uh, he had a great big old ugly CPAP machine on his nightstand. So I said, hey, Rich, what's that thing? And he, she, and his wife spoke up, said, this is, that's the, that's his machine. He won't wear because he thinks it makes you look like a sissy. And he kind of got embarrassed and, but Reggie died of sleep apnea. He had a heart attack in his sleep. That's what happens. Your heart is clenching so hard to breathe. And to get a oxygen in your body that it, it finally, that muscle just gives out. So, and that's what happened. I, I always think this is a terrible thing, but when somebody says so-and-so died in their sleep, I said, aha, sleep apnea. That's my thought process. So I travel with it on the road. And I think, you know, if you don't have, a, you have a, hadn't had a sleep test, you should think about it. You make a, do a drive-by for your, to your dermatologist, make sure that you don't have any spots on you that they can't, they can take a lot of those things off right there, right then nothing. So that's kind of, I've always championed that. And I think the older I get, the more I'm aware of my mortality and I'm more aware of the fact that I can't live. I won't can't live forever, but I'm going to try to live really good while I'm here. And I'm going to try to be smarter about what I protect myself there, you know, so a little advice from somebody that's traveled that road. And I just want to see everybody healthy. And the sad part about it is Conrad, we we're, we're in the, in the spot where we can be healthier if we just take care of ourselves and go to the doctor and get advice and follow that advice. And my God, the sleep test is easy. And quite frankly, it's not, it's almost as easy as the skin test. They're just looking at you. They see blemishes, they, they zap them out. So something to think about, not as much fun as what we're going to talk about today, but none of the other th things are good. We're good. We're, we're really a major step closer getting the red ass JR's hot sauce done. I'm, I'm a matter of fact, I'm proving, approving the label today as we record this. So my goal, our goal, Stephen Link, my goal, or JR's black, JR's barbecue.com is to have that sauce or that hot sauce ready for the holiday season, which is now. So hopefully within the next uh, week or so, you're going to get a big announcement for that and we can start shipping uh, red ash JR's hot sauce and I'll package it with some other things and it'll be sold individually as well. But I can promise you, if you want hot sauce, this stuff is hot and it is flavorful. So we'll see how it works out. That's a fun project. It's a vanity thing for me. So I even enjoy down, doing it. 
even down to the name though. Tell everybody what the name of the sauce is again. JR's red ass hot sauce. It's a great <laughs> name. My family, save your family some cash. You don't need perfect credit. You don't need money out of your pocket, but we will save you money. It's not a matter if it's a matter of how much save with conrad.com. So well, it's such a great name. Yeah, I think so. So it's funny how everything ties back together, Conrad, and our, and our ventures. You know what I mean? Yeah. If I wasn't doing this podcast, I don't know if it'd be such a thing as red ass JR hot sauce. I don't know. Cause I, I, I thought of it, that, but we got, that became a thing here on the show when I go on a little rant or a little pissed off or something. So anyway, it's, it's going to be fun. And I've been, people have asked me about this stuff, the hot sauce for years. So now it's time to roll her out and see where we're excited for it. Uh, a lot of new fun stuff coming down the pike between black hat farms and the hot sauce. Stay tuned. JR's BBQ.com. But at least for now, we feel like we should jump into what we're talking about today. It's uh 25 years ago, the night Brian Pillman pulled a gun on stone cold, Steve Austin on Monday night, raw. Arguably, what, year, what year was that Connie? It was, hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.